An Austin awesome police officer who fatally shot Michael Ramos last April is headed for a murder trial. Christopher Taylor is charged with first degree murder in Ramos's death. This incident happened during a confrontation Ramos had with Austin police. KXN Tahera Rahman spoke with an expert who says legal proceedings like this are rare. Stop right there. The video plays over and over in my head when I try to sleep. Nearly a year after an Austin police officer shot Brenda Ramos's son, Mike. A Travis County grand jury returns an indictment. Members of our community heard the evidence and the law um, and determined that probable cause exists that Officer Taylor committed murder. The district attorney's office says this is the first indictment against an Austin Police Department officer for a deadly shooting on duty. The case now heads to a trial. The prosecution will bear the burden of proving beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant, in fact, um, committed the elements of murder. Those elements include intent to kill or injure and dangerous behavior and that the actions resulted in a death. UT criminal law professor Jennifer Lauren also says Taylor's legal team will likely argue that the use of force was justified. Then the prosecution would have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt also that those circumstances of justification didn't exist. The DA says the coronavirus pandemic has slowed proceedings, so there's no timeline on when Officer Taylor's trial could start. I feel good, but there's still a long way to go. Tahira Rahman, KXAN News. Officer Taylor's attorneys were unavailable for an interview today. In a statement last night, they called the indictment the fulfillment of a campaign talking point for the district attorney. They also called the move more evidence of anti-police bias. The team added that they look forward to presenting the facts of this case to a jury.